the hill of you will see that Dabra Mela sometimes begins with Ladod and Mizmoir, and other times he begins with Mizmoir Ladod. And the Gemara Shachan Kofi asks, What's the difference between Mizmoir Ladod and Ladod Mizmoir? And the Gemara says, When Dabra Mela felt the Shrina, the show of the short soul of Shrina, the David, then this Mayor, oh my Shira, he sang because it was an expression of closeness, of Gilu Shrina. But other times, says the Gemara, Miss Mayor, David, David Amelech was struggling. It was dark. He experienced pain in his life. And in order to draw the Shrina back down, he had to sing this boy, and then the David, and then the Shrina came to David. Let's take a look at the very first Mizmer of David in Tehillim. The very first Mizmer of David is Bevorchah ibn Avshalom B'nai. Avshalom, a rebellious child. The Gemara brother says, what? King of the boy you should be crying over Avshalom, he's rebelled! Says the Gemara, no. He sang, he wanted to bring the Shechina back, and he had to find reason to sing, so what did he sing about? You know what he said? He said, Benoi. He said, it's my son. It's not an Evan, it's not a Manzer. He's not a stranger, it's my child, and if he's my child, there's hope. From a Talmud's perspective, already, if I had to encapsulate your life in three words, it's Mitzvah and the David. You sing all the time to all our shalons. What did you sing? What did you say? You said to me, you're my son. You're my child. We knew it. We felt it. You cared. It was real. How many times did Rebbe travel hundreds of miles when he heard us come even having a hard time just to give us a hug? I was the recipient of so many hugs. Thousands of miles. Rebbe would come in, look for me, Hug me, remind me that he loves me, and then leave. I said, Rebbe, where did you come from? It didn't matter. We were sick in high school. Rebbe would cook chicken soup for us and serve it to us. Who does that? Only someone who sings Miss My Little to me, only a father. When I got my license, I was stuck on Route 9. It was in the summer. Rebbe heard about it. He was there within minutes. He stayed with me until my car was fixed. I said, Rebbe, you have to go. Why are you staying? Rebbe, remember? You said to me, Yoli, because that's what I would do for my son. You were so proud of us. Every milestone, every accomplishment, every achievement, you call me with every publication and production. You said, Yogi, I'm so proud. And now, who's smart to know that song of the has stopped? Who's going to sing the song for us, Amita? Who's going to continue being proud of us? Who's going to believe in us? Who's going to build us? We are orphans. I was on the plane on my way here, and I had a lot of time to think. I remember just a few short months ago, I came in for the Yates people. And a thought came into my head, and I thought to myself, Rabbi Shalala, and Dabin, we stormed the heavens. What happened to all the Tfilas? 
And then I remembered almost two decades ago what Rebbe taught me in a cemetery after we had doubted for Rebbe's granddaughter. We stormed the heavens for her. We doubted months. Anybody who saw Rebbe ever doubted in the back of the shoal? You could not be changed. We doubted and doubted, and then I came to the Levaya, and we all came there. Nobody knew what to say. And then after the burial, who remembers this? Whoever was there, Rebbe stood at the gravesite. And Rebbe yelled, My Rebbe Rabbi said, It's fearless. Nobody should doubt it's fearless. It went to a special place in heaven, and Hashem has a special place for it. Rebbe was concerned about what we all think. Where did the fearless go? Rebbe had taught me that lesson almost 20 years ago. And today, I'm reminding myself and everyone here, those tefillahs went to a special place. They have not gotten the Igwood. Rebbe taught by example. He didn't preach. He didn't teach. He just lived, lived, lived. our entire lives you've never seen any bad in us and if Rebbe was our father the Rebbe was our mother the Rebbe stood by your side Rebbe we watched it, we saw it Rebbe you adored her you respected her, you admired her you taught us so much in that relationship just by watching the two of you the Rebbe, you said, always was your backbone. She was your strength. <laughs> Rebbe, please be a bit of for us, for the Rebbe, for the entire family, and for all of Kali Yisrael. And continue singing from heaven. Bismarck, the David, Bani, we should all feel it. And continue to hear your voice. Thank <laughs> you.